I went to South Africa. I, got, I just went to South, I was in, have you ever been, ever been in South Africa? It's really fucking far, you go out here, you walk, take a left and then you just fucking go to the bottom. You go to the bottom, it's at the very end of the earth. It's down where the round part is and then you go back around this other land. But for the most part, it's at the end. We're at Cape Town, which is at the very fucking end of the earth. And I'd done a little reading about it, you know, but not a lot. I didn't know, I didn't, I, 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 you, know, you know, obviously I grew up, I knew about apartheid and, and Nelson Mandela. I did a little, you know, uh, reading of the rugby they like and Matt Damon's from there. <laughs> and <laughs> but what they didn't tell me about, they didn't prepare me for it was um, baboons fucking in the road, in the road. <laughs> Not in, not like, no, in your fucking street. Not, in a, not out in the wild, but in a suburban. So, okay, so we go there and, and we, have a, we have a day off and uh, it was a bunch of comics at the Fur Festival and uh, we're, we're going to Cape Point, which is, a, they go, hey, you should go see Cape Point. It's where the uh, Atlantic Ocean and the Indian Ocean meet. And you're like, oh, that'll be awesome, except it's, there's, you know, there's nothing to see. It's not like two fucking, like I thought, oh, two oceans will crash into each other. Like, <laughs> boom, so you see this mad, they, you know, like these two fucking oceans. Back, I, I did that in my head. It's just fucking water. It's nothing. It's just a distinction on a map. It's just, it's like shit we made up. It's just like religion and marriage. So <laughs> there's nothing to see. So we're driving out to see that. And on the way, there's a sign and the sign says fucking baboons exc exclamation point. <laughs> as though they're as stoked to have baboons as you will be to see them. <laughs> baboons! Like, oh fuck, they've got them. We're going to see them. But as you know, as fucking human beings, as you know, you never see what's on a sign. Like you never see... I've never seen a Mexican family running across a highway. I've never seen it. I've just never seen it. I'd be fucking delighted. I'd honk. I'd wave. I'd point in a direction they could go in. I'm all about them coming here. Come on over. Come on in. I've never seen boulders. I've never come around a turn and seen fucking boulders. How awesome would it be if just for a minute your life could be like the fucking Italian job where you're cruising and fucking boulders come down? I've never seen slow children playing like you could always do 75. I've never seen a girl with pigtails. I just haven't seen it. So what I'm trying to say is I don't expect to see baboons. I don't expect that that's what I'm going to see. 500 yards, I shit you not, past the sign is a couple, I guess for lack of a better description, right? In the road and they're fucking, it's a dude, right? And we're in a van and we hit the brakes because it was over a rise. We barely, we barely had time to fucking skid to a halt. And then we stop and dude is, <laughs> and he fucking looks at us and you know, they're almost human, right? I mean, he seriously was like, Like, fucking go around. Like, seriously, like, fucking go around. Like, he looked pissed. Like, you're in my fucking bed. Africa's my bedroom. Hi, Africa's my bedroom. This is my fucking shit. You go, go around. And we couldn't go around. There was no conceivable way to get the car around. There was another car stopped on the other side. And they're not like geese. You can't get out and just fucking shoo them away. They'll tear your fucking face off. Like, they're not, they're not fun. It's not a fun, they're not fun animals. Like, oh, cute. They'll destroy you. So... We simply, we just have to wait. We just have to fucking wait for them to fuck. They're gonna, they're gonna fuck and we've gotta, I, the one thing that was nice was like, you know how you gotta check yourself? Like, I, I wasn't turned on. You know what I mean? Like, you just never know. You never know. You know how you stumble as you get older, you stumble upon a fetish you didn't know. You're like, oh, shoes. Like, you didn't know. Shoes. And one day some pair of shoes makes you go, fuck, why do I wanna stick my dick in there? Cadbury eggs. I was in a Target. I wanna put my dick in there. You're not, I can't. You know what's sad about that? I saw this Cadbury eggs and I'm like, oh, I wanna put my dick in there. Like. Anyway, that's, that's, <laughs> I have children, so I didn't do it, but not, not because I, not because it would have been wrong, but simply my dick is just not big enough. Like I wouldn't have been able to actually manage, like it, I could only hang it above like a sad elephant. So I, so they're fucking, they're fucking. And, and so I know I'm not, I'm looking down. I want to give them as much privacy as they can have. And then one guy, of course, is taking pictures and uh, uh, another guy is laughing. And I'm like, oh really, are you fucking laughing? Cause that's a, How's your relationship? I guess what I'm to ask. You know, like how, like they're fucking in the road during the middle of the day. That's a solid relationship. It's daytime. They don't give a fuck what anybody thinks. They're doing it. You know, he's on her. He's just, he's fucking, there's love happening. Knock it off with your fucking judgment. How dare you? So we have to wait. We have to wait till they finish fucking. So they, dude is done. I mean, finishes. And then he, he, he looks up at us and he looks down at her and he picks a bug off of her back and fucking, <laughs> he eats it. They fucking come with snacks. They have snacks on them. No messy dismount, wrap a towel, go down to the fucking refrigerator. They have snacks on their back for post-coital. How fucking awesome is that? 
I love my wife. I'm lucky that she lets me fuck her. But when we're done, wouldn't it be awesome just to reach behind her ear and pull out a fucking peanut butter cup? <laughs> my name's Greg Barron. Thank you all very much. Have a good night. Thank you.